Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some PC Replay Baseball. And once again, it will be a matchup against one of the best teams in the history of Major League Baseball. The 1927 Yankees, Murderers Row, Ruth and Garrick, Lazari, Musil, and many more. They will be facing the 1999 Boston Red Sox with Pedro Martinez. So once again, the storied rivals meet as Pedro Martinez and the Red Sox clash with Ruth and Gehrig. Murderers Row in the Bronx Yankee Stadium. Will Martinez silence the boom, the bomb booming bats of the Bronx Bombers? Tune in and find out up next on the channel. Let's get to the starting lineups. For the Boston Red Sox, leading off playing second base, Jose Alferman. Batting second at third base, John Valentin. At short, batting third, Nomar Garcia Parra. The cleanup hitter in left field, Troy O'Leary. Mike Stanley bats fifth, he'll play first. Batting sixth, the DH, Brian Dahlback. Jason Veritek does the catching, batting seventh. In center field, batting eighth. Darren Lewis. Trot Nixon bats ninth and plays right field. For the Bronx Bombers of 1927, Ruth, Gehrig, Lazari, Musel, this is how they go. In center field, leading things off, Earl Combs. At short, Mark Koenig. Batting third, the Sultan of Swat, the Bambino. George Herman, Babe Ruth in right. Lou Gehrig, the Iron Horse, the cleanup hitter at first. Bob Musil's in left, batting fifth. Lazari's at second, batting sixth. At third base, Joe Dugan. He'll bat seventh, doing the catching, batting eighth. Pat Collins, the designated hitter for the Yankees, Benny Benhoff. Joining us in the Bronx, Jake Cruz. Hope all is well, Jakey. I'll be playing as the 1999 Red Sox and Pedro Martinez. If you've never seen replay uh, baseball, PC baseball, or played it on the tabletop, the better columns for the pitchers are 1 and 2. So the better red roll is 1 and 2 for the pitchers. 3 and 6 are better for the hitters. And again, that depends on how good the pitcher is and how good the hitter is for these column rolls. Four is infield defense. Five is pitcher's control. Let's go to Yankee Stadium. We'll be rolling our own dice. And let me show you the dice camera in a moment. And let me... That looks pretty good. Let's do this. And slide this that way no no let's do it as we get the dice camera ready let's not block the bambino we don't want to block the bambino let's do this here there we go i think that's how we'll do it can we bring that this way a bit all right On the mound for the Yankees is Wait Hoyt. Hoyt in 1927, 22 and 7, 2.63 ERA. He is a right-handed thrower. Behind the plate is Pat Collins. Collins for defensive range, and that's good for a catcher. And a 42 error, three arm. Actually, a three defensive range, four arm, 42 error rating. At first base, Gehrig is a three-range 52 error. Lazari is a two-range 53 error. Koenig, one-range 25 error. So Koenig at short has excellent range, but will commit errors. Dugan at third, three-range 34 error. In left field, Musil's a 3-5-21. So three-range, five-arm, 21 error. Combs in center is a five-range, two-arm, 24-error, and Ruth in right, three-range, four-arm, 31-error. In the infield, you want the lower-range number. 
In the outfield, you want the higher range number. That's in blue, uh, surrounded like a square. And the catcher, you also want a higher number. Do up for the Red Sox, Offerman, Valentin, and Garcia Parra. Joining us in the Bronx with Jake Cruz, Philip Reynolds. Hope all is well. Jose Offerman in 1999 had eight homers and batted 294. Again, we'll roll our own dice. Hoyt on the mound. He deals to Offerman. And that's going to be pitcher control. Five. Five, five, four to Offerman. 21. And Offerman works a walk. So Offerman's at first. And we have a base action. What's going to go on with Offerman? That's a 2-3. What will it be? We shall see on the 2-3. It's going to be a wild pitch possibility. We go to the Wait Hoyt rating. That's a 1. And no wild pitch. Good job by Collins blocking that ball. Offerman stays put at first for John Valentin. Valentin batted 253 with 12 homers in 1999. On deck, Nomar Garcia Parra. We're going to play hit and run with Valentin. Let's get Offerman in motion. Yankees playing halfway. The pitch from Wade Hoyt to John Valentin. It's a tough pitch there as that's a two. And a red two favors the pitcher. Two, three, one. Red, white, blue. Offerman in motion. Ground up. To third, Dugan has it over to Gehrig, one down. So Valentine does his job, moves Offerman over to second. He's in scoring position for Noma, Garcia Parra, Garcia Parra, 357, 27 homers. He'll be swinging the stick. Righty, righty matchup. Here's the pitch, homeward bound to Noma, Garcia Parra, and Wade Hoyt deals another tough pitch. 1 4 4. Will it close the door on Noma, Garcia Parra? That's a 37. Garcia Parra grounds it to the right side. Lazeri goes to Garrick. Offerman moves to third, but there's two away. Two outs. Offerman 90 feet away. Can Troy O'Leary knock him in? Left hand batting left fielder. 280, 28 homers for O'Leary. And we hit the enter button. That's a fly ball to center. And Combs makes the catch. I thought the play wasn't over yet. So we didn't roll those dice. Offerman is stranded at third. Bottom of the first, no score. Do up for the Yankees, Combs, Koenig, and Ruth. On the mound, Pedro Martinez, four range. Pedro, 23-4 and four with a 2.07 ERA in 1999. Behind the plate, Jason Veritek, two range. Zero arm with an asterisk. I'm not quite sure what that means. And a 42 error. At first, Stanley's a 242. Offerman, not very good range. Four, but his error rating is a 54. So the balls that Offerman does get to, he should not make errors. Garcia Parra is a 253 at short. And Valentin, a 135 at third. O'Leary's a four range, four arm, 62 error in left. In center, Darren Lewis. 5 range, 3 arm, 55 error, and Trot Nixon, 4 range, 2 arm, 34 error. Earl Combs steps up, left hand batter, to face Pedro Martinez. Combs, 356, with 6 homers in 1927. Pedro's ready to work. Veritek sets the target, the pitch, to Earl Combs. And Pedro comes in tough. 2-2-3. Two, two, what will it be? We shall see. 2-2-3. Two, two, That's a 12. And it's a single to left. So Combs, a little behind the fastball, goes the other way. Good piece of hitting by Earl Combs. And Combs looks like he's going to be off and running on Pedro. Here comes a steal attempt. We uh, Pedro wants a 33 or under. And it's going to be a 21. They might throw out Combs at second. And no, he does not go. Good job by Pedro and Stanley to hold Earl Combs on. Combs at first, no outs for Mark Koenig. Will they, would they bunt here? Would they bunt? 
Infield halfway for the Red Sox, hoping to turn two. Koenig, 285 with three homers. Pedro with a slide step to the plate. It's going to be pitcher's control. That's a five column, so that's a 5-5-6. Five, five, Pick up some sticks. 5-5-6 five, five, for Martinez. 18. Koenig swings, and it's going to be an infield single as he dribbles it into no man's land. Combs goes to second. Koenig to first. Two on, no outs. Pedro's in a bit of a pickle here. Base running action before Ruth comes to the plate. Or as Ruth comes to plate, that's a 31. Pass ball rating. Veritek is a 4. And it gets by Jason Veritek. So Veritek could not handle the pitch homeward bound. Combs goes to third, Koenig to second. The Yankees have something brewing here. And here comes George Herman, Babe Ruth. Remember when Pedro said, wake up the Bambino and I'll hit him right in the ass. Well, Babe Ruth is here for you, Pedro. On deck, Lou Gehrig. Ruth, 356, 60 home runs in 1927. The pitch to the Sultan of Swat, the Bambino, George Herman, Babe Ruth. And Pedro comes in tough, 166. Will he get his kicks on Route 66? That's a 46. Swing and a miss. Pedro strikes out the Bambino. One down. Still second and third. One out for the Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. Gehrig 373 with 47 homers. The pitch for Martinez to Gehrig. And again, Martinez comes in tough. 2-3-6. Two, 2-3-6 three, six. Two, three, six to Gehrig. That's a 17. Fly ball to center field or a strikeout. So it's either going to be a strikeout which will prevent Combs from scoring, or Garrick will fly to center, and it'll be a sack. We roll the blue die. First time ever I come across this, it's a four. We'll find out what happens. And it's a fly ball to center. Good piece of hitting by Garrick. Lewis makes the catch. Combs scores. 1-0, 27 Yankees. Two outs. Koenig at second. He'll be off on contact. For Bob Musil, Musil 373 and 8 homers. Here's the pitch to Musil from Pedro. And that's better for the hitter. Doesn't mean he's going to get a hit, but a better column, a better chance. 365 to Bob Musil. 44. And that's a line shot to short, making the leaping catch is Garcia Parra robbing Musil of a hit and a ribby. Three down. Yankees score one on the sack fly. We go to the top of the second. one nothing New York. Due up for the 99 Red Sox. Mike Stanley, Brian Daubach, and Jason Veritek to face Wade Hoyt. Mike Stanley, 19 homers, 281 batting average. Right hand batting first baseman. Hoyt's ready. Looks in at Collins. The pitch to Stanley. Pitcher control, 5-2-5. 5-2-5 to Stanley. Will he walk? Yes, he will. No, he won't. He swings at a pitch out of the zone, bangs at the Koenig, and he throws to Gehrig one down. Bad job by Stanley. As Wade Hoyt expand the, the zone, and Stanley obliged. One out for Brian Daubach, the designated hitter, 294 and 21 homers. Left-hand batter. Collins goes through the sign, sets the target. The pitch from Hoyt to Brian Daubach. Tough pitch by Wade Hoyt. 2-2-3. Two, two, what will it be? 2-2-3. Two, two, 14. Single to center. Daubach rips it back up the middle. That was an excellent hit by Daubach. Good pitch by Wade Hoyt. One on, one out for the switch hitting catcher Jason Veritek. He'll bat lefty against the right hand throwing. Wait, Hoyt. Yankees open to turn two in the infield. They're halfway. Here's the pitch to Jason Veritek. 269 and 20 homers in 1999. And then Wade Hoyt is dealing. That's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Can, da can uh, Veritek hit a tough pitch here? That's a 13. That's a single to left. So two tough pitches by Wade Hoyt. Two singles. Dawback and Veritek. 
One out, two on. Dawback at second. Veritek at first. For Darren Lewis, 240 with two home runs. On deck, Trot Nixon. Double play gets the Yankees out of it. That's what they're hoping for off the bat of Darren Lewis. Hoyt's ready to work. He rocks and deals to Lewis. Lewis has an opportunity here in a 3-1-4. 3-1-4. Lewis swings. That's a seven. And it's a single to center. Will Dawback be waved around? Combs puts a charge on it. They're going to send possibly Dawback the tying run. 2-6. Pick up some sticks. 2-6. That's an eight. He will score. So a clutch hit by Darren Lewis, and it's a 1-1 ball game. Top of the second. Boos rain down here in the Bronx. Still only one out. Veritek at second. Lewis, who hit the RBI single at first. Number nine batter, the right fielder, Trot Nixon. Nixon, 270 with 15 homers. Again, the Yankees hoping to turn two against the 99 Red Sox. Pitch homeward bound to Trot Nixon. Pitcher control, 5-2-4. Will it close the door on Nixon? 5-2-4 to Trot Nixon. That's a 28. It's going to be a fly ball to right. Ruth makes the catch. Veritek bluffs, but does not go. Two down, two outs, top of the order for Alferman. He walked his first time up. Hoyt nods his head. He rocks and deals to Offerman. Infield defense, 4-4-5. Four, 4-4-5. Four, five. Four, four, five. Will Offerman stay alive? That ball's hit to Lazari. He has it. He'll throw to Gehrig. The side is retired, but the Red Sox tie it up in the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second, 1-1 one, one, here in the Bronx. Due up for the 27 Yankees, Lazari, Dugan, and Collins to face Pedro Martinez. Tony push him up Lazari, 309 with 18 homers. Martinez is ready. He rocks and fires to Lazari. Pitcher control, 5-4-2, 5-4-2, how do you do? Lazari swings, grounds it. To Stanley, who flips to Martinez, one down. That'll bring up Joe Dugan, the third baseman. Dugan, 269. Only two homers for the Bronx Bombers. Martinez deals quickly to Dugan. And again, infield defense, 4-4-3. What will it be? 4-4-3 to Dugan. And that ball's hit to Garcia Parra. He gobbles it up like a kid with candy. Throws to Stanley, two away. Martinez keeping that ball down. Two outs, base is empty. For the number eight batter, the catcher, Pat Collins. Collins, right-handed stick, 275 with seven homers. Martinez is ready. Veritek sets the target on his counterpart. The pitch to Pat Collins, and it's going to be pitcher control as it's a five. So that's a 5-1-4, 5-1-4. Will this close the door in the Bronx Bombers? Pedro walked him. Veritek didn't like the call. Neither did Pedro. Inning stays alive. We go to the number nine batter, the designated hitter. Benny Benoff, 247, no homers, only 85 at-bats and 31 games for the Bronx Bombers. Here's the pitch from Pedro to Benny. Again, pitcher control, 5-5-6, five, five, pick up some sticks, 5-5-6 five, five, to Benoff. And he walks him, back-to-back -back walks. Pedro not able to locate his breaking pitch on those batters. Two outs, two on top of the order for Earl Combs. Combs one for one with a single. 1-1 one, one ball game. Combs trying to put the Yankees ahead once again. Pedro takes a deep breath, nods his head. He rocks and deals to Combs. Combs with an opportunity as the batter, better batter columns are 3-6, and that's a 3-1-6. We're talking about the red die roll. So 3-1-6 to Combs. Can he give the Yankees the lead? That's a 34. He's going to double over the head of Lewis to center. Collins scores. Benoff hits third. Will they wave him? They're going to try to wave him, and that's going to be a 7. It's a 2-5, and he's going to score. Combs looking to go to third on the throw to the plate. Blue die roll. And I think he's going to make it. And Combs does. So it's a double. Combs knocks in two. Advances to third on the throw to the plate by Lewis. 3-1 Yankees. 
Wasp. So they're getting to Pedro quite early. Damage coming with two outs. Yankees looking to knock another in as Colm stands 90 feet away for Mark Koenig. He's one for one. He's singled in his first at-bat. Pedro Martinez needs to get Koenig. Ruth on deck. He has struck out Ruth. The pitch to Mark Koenig from Pedro Martinez. Again, pitcher control. Red, white, blue. 5-5-3. Five, five, How do you do? That's a 16. It's an infield single. Combs races in and scores. 4-1 Yankees. Another infield single for the Bronx Bombers. Koenig. Here's the pitch for Martinez. 12. Possible pickoff attempt. Martinez throws over. I think we have to be three and under. It's a two. Let's see if I read that right. And he is out. Martinez throws to Stanley. They pick off Combs. Koenig, excuse me. And the side is retired. But the Yankees plate three in the bottom of the second. They now lead four to one over the 99 Red Sox. Joining us here in the Bronx, Captain Carl Eight, Sports Time Machine, Jake Cruz, and Philip Reynolds. For the Red Sox, who trail by three. Valentin, Garcia, Parra, and O'Leary. Valentin grounded out. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to John Valentin. And Earl, I'm sorry, uh, Wade Hoyt's dealing again. He's hitting that. Pitchers want to get the red 1 and the red 2. That's a red 1. And then it's a 6 4. So it's a 1 6 4. Does it close the door on Johnny Valentine? 47. Swing and a miss. Wade Hoyt picks up the K. And that's his first strikeout of the ball game. Nomar Garcia Parra is 0 for 1. He grounded out. Hoyt deals quickly to Nomar. Nomar with a chance here. He gets that 3 on the red. And again, if you're a batter, you want the 3 or the 6 when the red roll. It's a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Three's across the board. 34. And he doubles over the head of Combs in center. So the Red Sox trying to battle back. They're down 3. Top of the third, 4-1 Yankees. Troy O'Leary flew out to center. O'Leary had 28 homers in 99. The pitch to Troy O'Leary. Wade Hoyt bears down again. O'Leary will have to hit a tough pitch here. That's a 2-5-3. 2-5-3. What will it be? We shall see on the 2-5-3. That's a 19. That's a fly ball to center. Combs makes the catch. Two outs. Garcia Parra stands put at second. Mike Stanley's 0 for 1. Grounded to short. Garcia Parra takes his lead. Hoyt peeks over his shoulder. Now puts his attention to Stanley. Pitch homer bound to Mike Stanley. Stanley gets the power column. 6 4 1. 6 4 1 to Mike Stanley. 60. And that's a single to left. Will they wave Garcia Parra? Yes, they do. The Red Sox cut the lead in half with the two out single by Stanley, a former Yankee. And it's now 4-2 New York. Clutch hit by Stanley. Brian Dawback could tie the game now. Dawback singled in his first at-bat. Dawback with 21 homers in 99. Wade Hoyt takes a deep breath. Pitch homer bound to Brian Dawback. Dawback gets the 6. 6-2-6. Six, six. Pick up some sticks. 6. Ooh, shoot. All right, click this. Click back on that. Now do. 6-2-6. Six, 12. Six. Could be a homer. This ball game is tied if we roll 2 through 6. It's a 6. Brian Dobek has just hit a two-run homer in the Bronx. To right center. Bippity-boppity-boom to the moon goes Dobek. And the Red Sox have tied it at 4. They come back with a three spot in the top of the third. So much for a pitcher's duel here in the Bronx. A two-run blast by Dabak to the moon, Alice. To the moon. Boom goes the ball. Stanley and Dabak touch them all. We stand 4-4 four, four in the Bronx. Jason Cull has joined us. Hope all is well, Jason. Veritek steps to the plate. Red Sox catcher. He's one for one with a single. 
The pitch to Jason Veritek. I got a roll on the mat, Al. 2-6-1. This could end the inning. Tough pitch by Combs, uh, by Wade Hoyt. That ball's hit to Combs. Combs trying to make a diving catch here, and he will. What a catch by Combs in center. As no matter what, it's an out. We rolled anyway. A great diving catch to right center, preventing any further damage. We go to the bottom of the third, knotted at four. We've got a slugfest in the Bronx. It is a very fun game. I don't think I would play it card and dice just because of the charts, but I can still roll my own dice, which I like, and they pull up the charts for me. I do ha I did print the charts up. I read through them, looked at them, and when I played early on, I would watch them. Now the way I do it is, again, if you're just joining us, uh, the pitcher on the red roll, this indicates column. The one and the two are better for the pitcher. Again, the better the pitcher, the better the result against the hitter. The three and the six are better for the hitter. Again, if you're the, a better hitter, it's better for you. If you're a poor hitter, it still might not be good. The four is infield defense. Five is pitcher's control. And then you correspond with the white and the blue, and you add up the batter card and the pitcher card with the corresponding numbers, and it goes to a chart and tells you. So a diving catch by Combs in center. We go to the bottom of the third, not at at four. It'll be Ruth, Gehrig, and Musil to face Pedro Martinez. Martinez struck out the Bambino. The Sultan of Swat looking for revenge. Pedro's been roughed up. Four runs in two innings. The pitch to Babe Ruth. And Babe Ruth gets the power column. 6-4-2. How do you do? 6-4-2 to Ruth. He will swing the lumber. That's gone. That's a possibility of a home run. And now Ruth can give the Yankees the lead. Roll two through six. It's a five, and the Yankees retake the lead as Ruth. Oh, wait a second. Possible home run over the outfield wall as the pitcher has a raised number beside his column six. So I think if we roll a one... Let's find out. I don't, I've never seen this one. So that's a one. We rolled a one. Let's see what happens. And Darren Lewis. Okay, so, wow. Pedro Martinez, he's such a good pitcher that he can take away a home run with a one. So instead of Ruth hitting the go-ahead homer, Pedro is such a special pitcher in 99. He has another trait we'll call it and we if we had to roll a one i think obviously we did roll the one and it becomes a single so it's still four four there's all these little nuances and nooks and crannies with this game it's so cool now I'll bring up lou Gehrig. red sox looking to turn two Gehrig had a sack fly for a ribby in the first so no official at bat the pitch to the iron horse from pedro martinez that's a three two five as we again need to roll on the mat al Three, two, five. That's a hitter column, and Gehrig's a tremendous hitter. Let's see what happens here. He's going to drop a bunt down. Are you kidding me? So that roll doesn't matter. Stanley looking to field the bunt. It's a seven, two, five, and it's going to be a good bunt by Gehrig. Stanley's only play is to first, and it's Martinez covering. Advancing to second is Ruth. So the Iron Horse drops a bunt. Go ahead, run at second with one out for Bob Musil. Musil lined out to Garcia Parra at short. The pitch for Martinez to Musil. 5-5-2. Five, five, How do you do? Pitcher control for Martinez. 5-5-2. Five, five, 41. And he hits Musil with the pitch. So Martinez sending a message here. He gives Musil a nice black and blue. And now Pedro... <clears throat> early hook rule, his grades go to a B. Still the one and two column, still tremendous for Pedro, even at a B grade. <clears throat> one out, 4-4 four, four ball game. 
Go ahead run at second and Ruth. Musil at first for Tony. Push him up Lazari. He's 0 for 1 with a ground out. Red Sox hope to turn 2 in the infield. They're halfway. The pitch from Martinez to Lazari. 6 1 4. That's a power column. That's a red 6. Lazari had 18 homers. 6 1 4 to Tony. Push him up Lazari. That's a 19 deep fly ball to right. Nixon racing back. Makes the catch. Ruth tags from second. Goes to third. Two down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Captain Carl 8 in the chat says Pedro only allowed nine homers in 99. So that's why there are raised numbers in some of his boxes in column six. Yeah, it's a special trait because he was so dominant in 1999. Thank you for sharing that, Captain Carl. Runners on the corners, two outs, 4-4 four, four ball game. Ruth at third, Musil at first for Joe Dugan. The Yankee third baseman grounded to short. Can Dugan get a clutch hit and once again give the Yankees the lead? Martinez on the ropes. He rocks and deals to Joe Dugan. And Martinez deals hard for his money. 1-6-4. That should favor Pedro, but you never know. 1-6-4. Will it close the door? And it will. That's a swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Pedro pitches out of that mess. First goose egg put up by Martinez. We go to the top of the fourth. 4-4 four, four is the score in the Bronx. Due up for the 99 Red Sox. Lewis, Nixon, and then the top of the order, Jose Offerman. Lewis knocked in a run with a single in his first at-bat. Wade Hoyt back up on the bump. Looks in at Collins. He deals to Darren doing damage. Lewis. Infield defense, 4-5-4. Four, 4-5-4. Five, four. Four, five, four. Lewis swings the stick, hits it to Dugan. And he throws to Garrick one down. Trot Nixon with one out. Steps into the left-hander's batter's box. Hoyt deals quickly to Nixon. And again, infield. Defense, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Fours across the board, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. That's a ball hit to Garrick. It's a 14. Possible error on Garrick. But it's going to be tough. You got to roll at least a red five, and we're not going to get that. That's a 4 5 1. Garrig will make the play. 4 5 1. So Garrig bats the ball down, picks it up, and wins the foot race to the bag. Two outs, top of the order. No one on for Jose Offerman. Offerman is walked and grounded out. He's 0 for 1. Offerman, switch hitter, batting lefty. Collins sets up inside. Pitch inbound from Wade Hoyt. Offerman gets the red three. That's a hit column possibility. 3-1-3. Three, three. What will it be? Offerman swings the stick. That's a six. And it's a shallow fly ball to right. Ruth coming in. Makes the catch. The side is retired. The Red Sox go meekly in the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 4-4 four, four in the Bronx. Due up for the 27 Yankees. Collins, Benoff in the top of the order. Combs to face Pedro Martinez, who is back to his normal ratings as he got out of the mess. In the bottom of the third. Collins walked his first time up against Pedro. Veritek wiggles the fingers. Pedro quickly nods his head. He rocks and fires to Collins. Pedro makes a pretty tough pitch here. As that's a red two. So that's a 2-5-4. Two, 2-5-4. Five, four. Two, five, four. Pedro hopes to close the door on Pat Collins. That's a 17. Collins goes down looking on the breaking pitch. That was a nasty swerve. One down. Pedro has now struck out three. D. Scott Howard has joined us in the Bronx. Hope all is well. D. Scott Howard, the goat whisperer. Benny Benoff, the D.H. walked. Here's the pitch to Benoff from Martinez. And that's going to be pitcher control. Five red, so that's the control column. And so it's five, five, five. The other two dice are the corresponding. And you batter card and hitter card. And that's going to be a ground out to third. As Benoff swings at a pitch out of the zone. Good job by Pedro and Veritek. Enhancing, enticing actually, Benoff. Two down, top of the order, Earl Combs. Combs is two for two, and he's knocked in two runs. He's singled and doubled. He needs a triple and a homer for the cycle. Pedro looking to retire Combs. Pedro is really bared down after he, he hit. I forgot who he hit. I think it was Musil. Combs trying to keep the inning alive with Koenig on deck. Pedro's ready to work. He deals to Earl Combs. 
Again, pitcher control, 5-6-5. Five, five. Combs swings, grounds it to Stanley, who flips to Pedro. The side is retired, so Pedro gets the Yankees a chase out of the zone. We go to the top of the fifth, knotted at four, between the 1999 Red Sox and the 1927 Yankees of Ruth and Gehrig and Murderer's Row. Due up for Boston, John Valentin, Nomar Garcia Parra, and Troy O'Leary. Valentin's 0 for 2, a ground out and a strikeout. Hoyt deals to Valentin. Infield defense, 4-5-4. Four, 4-5-4. Five, four. Four, five, four. Valentin swings, sends it to Gehrig. That is a 22, and it is off his glove. A diving attempt by Gehrig goes into right field. Valentin gets on. Red Sox put the leadoff batter on. And now Wait Hoyt faces a possible early hook. Nomar Garcia Parra grounded out and doubled. Valentin at first. Garcia Parra always has the green light. The pitch homeward bound to Noma. Pitcher control 5 3 4 from Wade Hoyt. 5 3 4 to Nomar. It's a 5. Nomar swings. Dugan has it. Over to Lazeri for the force out. Relay play not in time. So Garcia Parra replaces Valentin at first. There's one down for Troy O'Leary, who's 0 for 2. Two flyouts to center. Yankees hoping to turn two, infield halfway. Hoyt nods his head. He rocks and deals to Troy O'Leary. That's a tough pitch from Wade Hoyt. 2-5-6. Pick up some sticks. 2-5-6 to O'Leary. 19. That's a fly out to center. Combs is there. Two down as Garcia Parra retreats to first. Mike Stanley has singled in his last at-bat, knocking in a run. And prior to that, grounded out. So he's one for two. Go ahead, run at first. Garcia Parra will be off on contact. Stanley awaits the Hoyt offering. And here it is. Pitch homeward bound. Red three gives Stanley a chance. Three, six, four to Mike Stanley. The Red Sox first baseman. That's a 45. And he scorches one to short, and Koenig makes the leaping catch. The side is retired. He hit it on the screws with nothing to show for it. Bottom of the fifth, knotted at four. We got an epic brewing in the Bronx between the 1999 Red Sox and Pedro Martinez and the 27 Yankees, Ruth Gehrig and Murderer's Row. Pedro back up on the bump. He struck out three, giving up four runs, walked two. Uh, Pedro took a home run away from Ruth, turned it into a single, or the Yankees would have had the lead. So it's Koenig, Ruth, and Gehrig to face vote for Pedro. Koenig is two for two, two singles and a ribby. Veritek pounds a mitt, sets the target, the pitch to Mark Koenig. Pedro looking to deal. That's a 2-5-3. The red two will favor the pitcher. And Pedro is an excellent pitcher in 1999. 2-5-3, what will it be? We shall see in a moment. That's a 51. Ground ball back to Pedro. He flips to Stanley. One out. Now bring up George Herman, Babe Ruth. A strikeout and a single. We initially thought it was a go-ahead homer, but Pedro has that trait to take homers away. The pitch to the Sultan of Swat, the Bambino. George Herman, Babe Ruth. It'll be infield defense, 4-3-2. One Ruth swings the stick, 4-3-2, how do you do? It's hit to Garcia Parra, it's a four. Garcia Parra throws to Stanley, two down. So Pedro's really dialed it in after giving up four runs in the first two innings. One in the bottom of the first and three in the bottom of the second. 4-4, four, four, two outs, bottom of the fifth for Lou Gehrig. Gehrig, sack fly to center for a ribby. Then he put down a bunt, so no official at bat for the Iron Horse. Here's the pitch from Pedro to Gehrig. Pitcher control, 5-5-4. Five, five, Does it close the door on Gehrig? Will he swing out of the zone? It's a 21, and he walks. Gehrig does not chase. Gehrig goes to first with two outs. Base action for Gehrig. It's a 7, so that's a 3-4. Possible wild pitch on Martinez. 
Now we roll the blue die. That's a two. And Veritech blocks it. Quickly getting back to first is Garrick. Bob Musil steps back in the box. Musil lined to short, and then Pedro planted one in his back, sending a message to the Yankees. Garrick will be off on contact with two outs. Musil digs in, snares at Pedro. Pedro snares back at Musil. Slide step to the plate. And Pedro dealing. I'm going to say this most likely is a strikeout, but you never know. One, one, two. So one, one, two. It's a 21. I think that's a strikeout. No, it's a line drive single. So see, Bob Musil's a good hitter with that 337 average. And he fights off that pitch. He sends a line drive to O'Leary. Normal, a normal hitter. That's definitely a K. Now O'Leary, while he goes to field the ball, a possibility of an error, but it's, it's got to be a 63 or higher. And it's not. It's a 23. So O'Leary bobbles it, but quickly recovers. Gehrig stays at second. Musil at first so an excellent piece of hitting by Bob Musil on a roll that normally would have struck out hundreds of other batters two outs two on 4-4 four, four ball game bottom of the fifth for Tony push him up Lazaro, Lazari Lazari's 0 for 2 Martinez takes a deep breath arms down to his chest the leg kick and the pitch to Lazari Lazari has an opportunity here that's a hitter's column, three. So it's a 3-1-2, 3-1-2. How do you do for Tony Push him up Lazari? Ballpark effect. And it's going to be an out as there's no hit up there. It's academic. So that's a five. Pedro will get out of the inning as Lazari, a sinking liner to trot Nixon in right. And the side is retired. Yankee Stadium usually does not give up hits. Top of the six, 4-4 ball game. It'll be Dawback, Veritek, and Lewis to face Wait Hoyt. Dawback has singled and hit a two-run homer. He's two for two. They want to start Butch Husky. I said, are you out of your mind? I started Dawback. The pitch to Brian Dawback looking to go three for three, and he just might do that with that red three roll. It's a 3-3-4. Three, 3-3-4 three, four. Three, three, four to Brian Dawback. 35, and he doubles off the wall in left. Dawback, three for three. The Red Sox have the go-ahead run in scoring position. That'll bring up Veritek. On deck is Lewis. I think Veritek was a decent bunder. Corners playing in. We're going to sack with Veritek. That's a five. Veritek putting the bunt down. Collins will field it. Stay away from the red stuff. That's a five. It's going to be a good bunt. That is a one four. Collins fields it. His only play is the Garrig at first. Dawback moves to third. So a good job by the Red Sox catcher. Probably the only man on this team. Well, Lewis probably could have bunted a bit. Offerman. Eh, I don't know if he was. A, I don't. I don't recall him being a good bunter. So a good job by Veritek. High fives and hugs in the dugout for the Red Sox. One out, infield moves in, 4-4 ball game. Darren Lewis has singled in a run and grounded out. Can he put the Red Sox ahead? Hoyt looks in at Collins, shakes him off. Now he nods his head. Pitch inbound to Darren Lewis. And Wade Hoyt deals, 1-6-6. Six, six. That's going to be a, oh, that might be, you know what? That's going to be a 48 and I don't, uh, that might be a hit. 166, 48. Strikeout. Yep. Strikeout. Excellent job by Wade Hoyt. Swing and a miss by Lewis. So now there's two down. Dawback, 90 feet away, will advance on a balk, a wild pitch, a pass ball, an error, or a single. Can Trot Nixon, the left-hand batting right fielder, give the lead to the Red Sox? 4-4, four, four, top of the six. Between the 1999 Bo Sox and the 1927 Bronx Bombers. 
Here's the pitch to Trot Nixon from Wade Hoyt. And it's threes across the board. Three, three, three. What will it be? 16. Triples to center field. And the Red Sox take the lead as Nixon badly burns Combs. And it's 5-4 Boston with the 3-3-3 three, three, three we just saw. What it be? It's a triple to center for Trot. Offerman looking to increase that lead. Jose Offerman, top of the order. Second baseman walked, grounded out, and has flown out. He's 0 for 2. Hoyt's ready. He deals to the switch hitting, batting Offerman. Pitcher control, 5-1-3, 5-1-3 to Offerman. That's a walk, possibly. Wade Hoyt can take the walk away. We roll the blue die. It's a three, and that's a walk. So Hoyt is in trouble. Runners on the corners, two outs, 5-4 Boston, thanks to a double and a triple. The double by Dawback. And the triple by Nixon. The number two batter for Boston, John Valentin, steps to the right-hander's batter's box. Valentin is one for three, a ground out, a strikeout, and a single. Runners will be off on contact. Hoyt takes a deep breath. The leg kick and the pitch to Johnny Valentin. Hoyt makes a pretty tough pitch with that red two, so it's a 2-6-4. 264, does it close the door on Johnny Valentin? Raised number. That ball's hit to center. Combs racing towards the gap. And he will make the catch. It's academic. Another diving catch by Earl Combs. Saves at least one run. But the Red Sox put up a digit in the top of the six. We go to the bottom of the six. 5-4, 1999 Red Sox over the 27 Yankees. We've got a thriller in the Bronx. Pedro Martinez, who gave up four runs in the first two innings, has settled in with goose eggs. Three, four, five, and now it's the bottom of the six. He will face Dugan Collins in the top of the order, Earl Combs. Joe Dugan is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Martinez works to Combs. I'm um, Dugan, excuse me. That's a 4 3 3. Infield defense, 4 3 3. Dugan swings the stick, hits it to Garcia Parra. It's a 13. Possible error on Nomar. But again, you got to get stay away from the red five. Well, we did. It's worse. It's an error. We got the red six. Six, five, two. It could be, let's see if the two comes into play now. Nope, just an error. Not a two base error, thank God. So Garcia Parra boots the ball. Tying run at first in Dugan. Pat Collins comes to the plate. Benoff, the designated hitter on deck. Collins, he could bunt, but we're gonna play, we're gonna stay with the halfway in the infield. Martinez looking for that one or two roll. He wants a K. Slide step to the plate to Pat Collins. Pitcher control. 5-1-6. Pick up some sticks. 5-1-6 for Martinez to Collins. And he's gonna bunt. So he does drop the bunt down. Now we re-roll on the bunt. That's a 1-2, so that's a 3, and he's going to pop out. We have a chance of a double play here, maybe. No. Quickly getting back to first is Dugan. Veritek makes the catch as he throws the mask askew. And Yankee fans none too happy with the failed bunt attempt. One out, one on for the designated hitter, Benny Benoff. Benhoff is has walked. And grounded to third. He's 0 for 1. Double play. Get the Red Sox out of the inning. The pitch to Benoff from Pedro Martinez. And Martinez with... That's a 1-4-3. Benoff is a 247 hitter. 1-4-3. So 1-4-35-36. That's a strikeout. And the side is retired. The error doesn't hurt. Oh, only two outs. Excuse me. Only two outs. I counted my chickens before they hatched. So with two outs, Dugan will be off on contact. Top of the order, Earl Combs. Combs has singled, doubled, and grounded out. He's knocked in two. On the double. Stanley holding on Dugan. Martinez peaks the first. Now in at Veritek. 
Pitch inbound to Earl Combs. 5-1-6. Pitcher control. 5-1-6. That's a six. Two balls. So that prevented the automatic walk because it's Pedro. 2-0 count. Combs steps back in. Pitch inbound. 1-2-5. 1-2-5. That's a strikeout. So he gets it full, and Pedro blows the fastball by him. Now the side is retired. So Pedro strikes out the final two Yankees in the bottom of the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. 5 4 1999 Red Sox over the 1927 Yankees. Due up for Boston Gar Garcia Parra, O'Leary, and Stanley. Wait, Hoyt back up on the bump. Garcia Parra has grounded out, doubled, and grounded out. One for three. The pitch to Nomar from Wade Hoyt. Nomar with an opportunity. He gets the red three. Three, five, one to Garcia Parra. He'll swing the stick. That's a 32. It's a line drive to center. Combs makes the running catch. One out. Troy O'Leary steps to the plate. He's flown out three times to Combs in center. He'd like to hit it to someone else. Collins sets up inside. The pitch to Troy O'Leary. That's going to be a tough pitch for O'Leary to handle. It's a red one, so that's a 1-4-1. One, one. Someone dial 9-1-1. That's a 37. Ground ball to second. Lazari knocks it down. Throws to Gehrig two away. Base is empty. For the right-hand batting first baseman, Mike Stanley. Stanley has knocked in a run with a single. He's also grounded out and lined out. One for three. Stanley awaits the Wade Hoyt offering. Pitch homeward bound to Mike Stanley. Stanley gets the power column. 6-4-6. Six, six. Pick up some sticks. 6-4-6. Six, six. So 6-4. That's a... Th oh, it's a possibility of a homer here. That's a 63. It's a double down the line. So Stanley doubles down the right field corner as he goes the other way. Inning stays alive. That's a huge insurance run. That's it for Wade Hoyt. The Yankees are going to go to Joe Gerard. Gerard. Why would you go to Joe Gerard? He had an 8 ERA. Holy cow. Bad management decision there, in my opinion. And But Gerard, he doesn't give up big hits. And you can see when you bring in a reliever, whatever box is checked off, he gets an extra benefit to the first batter. I think it's only to the first batter. Stanley at second for Brian Dabak. Dabak is three for three, a single, a two-run homer, and a double. He'd like to pick up his third or fourth ribby here. Gerard, strange pick by the PC engine. Uh, no wins, no losses, and an eight ERA. The pitch to Dabak. Oh, it's a lefty-lefty matchup, that's why. Here's the pitch. And power column. So, boy, that check mark's going to come into play. Will he finally get Da back on a 6-4-4? 60. And it's a single to left. Stanley's going to score on this. No, no they hold him. They hold the slow-footed Stanley. And Brian Da back is 4-4 four for four as he goes the opposite way. Two outs, two on. Stanley at third. Da back at first. For Jason Veritek, he singled. Flown out to center and had a sack bunt. Another, well, uh, Veritek will now bat right-handed for the first time as Gerard is a lefty. Here's the pitch to the Red Sox catcher, Jason Veritek. And so he pitchers control, 5-4-5, five, five, and that's going to be a walk most likely, 50. Base action chart, Gerard was a horrible choice by the A.I., that's a 5. That's a 4-1. That's a wild pitch possibility. And that's going to be a wild pitch no matter what. As that ball gets by the... Oh, no, it's a block. I, I, got the, I get mixed up with that sometimes. So he has... At 6 is a good rating for the wild pitch. Good job. Behind the plate by Collins. No advance by either runner. And that's huge. Still a one-run deficit for the Yankees. Veritek steps back in the right-hander's batter's box. 
Collins sets up inside. Gerard's ready to work. He deals to Jason Veritek. At least he hits a pitcher column. One, two, four. One, two, four. Will it close the door on the Boston Red Sox? And it will. He strikes him out. Swing and a miss down in the dirt on the breaking pitch. So Gerard proves me wrong. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Five, four, Boston. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for it. Root, root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Do up for the Yankees who trail by one in the bottom of the seventh. Koenig, Ruth, and Gehrig. Koenig. Two for three. His two hits are singles. He does have a ribby. Martinez back on the bump for the Red Sox. The pitch to Mark Koenig trying to start things off. He will hit the ball in the infield. 4-4-4 four, 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 infield defense. The ball is hit to Stanley. It is an 18. And Stanley will toss to Martinez for the first out in the bottom of the seventh. Good job by Stanley and Martinez. That'll bring up the Sultan of Swat. George Herman, Babe Ruth, he struck out, singled. We thought it was a go-ahead homer, but Martinez took it away, and he is grounded out, so he's one for three. The pitch to Ruth from Pedro Martinez. Pitcher control, 5-3-3. Three, three. What will it be? Will Ruth get on? Six. Let's see what goes here. That's a two. And it's ball four. So Ruth works a walk. Martinez goes to a B grade. Do we want to go to the bullpen? I think not. He'll face Gehrig, who does not have a hit against him. He does have a sack fly for a ribby and a bunt. And a walk. So no official at bat for Lou Gehrig. The pitch to the iron horse from Pedro Martinez. Again, control. 5-6-4. 5-6-4. Will Gehrig work a walk? Yes, he will, most likely. So again, nope, two balls because first base is occupied. Sort of like <clears throat> pine tar there. Full count to Gehrig. And again, pitcher's control. 5-4-3. What will it be? We shall see. It's a 5. Grounder to Valentin. He'll go to Offerman. They get the force out at second on Ruth. There are two down. Relay throw not in time. Two outs. Tying run at first. Lou Gehrig. He'll be off on contact. Bob Musil, who Pedro has plunked, now has an opportunity for revenge. Righty-righty matchup. Musil digs in. Martinez is ready. Veritek sets the target. The pitch to Bob Musil. And Musil gets a six column. He has an opportunity for something big here. 6 5 1 to a fading Martinez. 19 deep fly ball to right. Nixon at the track, at the wall. He makes the catch. And all of Red Sox Nation breathes a sigh of relief. Gehrig stranded at first. We go to the top of the eighth. 5 4 1990 Red Sox over the 27 Yankees. It will be Lewis Nixon in the top of the order. Offerman against Joe Girard. Lewis is singled in a run, struck out and grounded out, one for three. The pitch to doing damage, Darren Lewis. Gerard dealing with the 1-6-2. 1-6-2, how do you do? We'll find out in a moment. That is a 47, and that's a strikeout swinging. Gerard has struck out two. Now a lefty-lefty matchup with Nixon. Nixon has tripled in a run. Prior to that, a fly out and a ground out, one for three. Gerard nods his head. He rocks and deals to trot Nixon. Nixon gets the power column. 6-1-5. Six, 6-1-5 one, five. Six, one, five to Nixon. 18. Deep fly ball to left. Musil corrals it and touches the wall. Two away. That's it for Gerard. Now they go to Will Seymour. The righty, Will Seymour, 19-7 with 13 saves. 2.28 ERA. Offerman is hitless. 0 for 2 with 2 walks. Needs to get on base here. On deck, Valentine. Moore, after a quick word with Collins, he's ready. 
Collins sets the target. The pitch to Jose Offerman. Pitcher control. That's that red five. That's the control column. Five six one. Five six one. Offerman trying to get on with two outs. Ground ball to Dugan at third. Across the diamond to Gary. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The 1999 Red Sox five. The 1927 Yankees four. We have an epic in the Bronx. Due up for the Bronx Bombers. Lazari, Dugan, and Collins. If anyone gets on, Benny Benoff. Tony Lazari is hitless. Pedro continues to go. The pitch to Tony Lazari. 1-6-1, one, one. red, white, blue, 1-6-1. One, one. Strikeout, 46. Big swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Hit the dirt, Veritek tags Lazari. Not a tremendous outing by Pedro, but a workmanlike performance. He struck out six, walked four, and given up four runs. One in the first, three in the second. He has settled in with goose eggs, though at times it has been messy. Pedro really... Got the train back on the tracks after he hit Musil and took control of the plate. With one out, no one on, Joe Dugan, the hitless third baseman, steps to the plate. Veritek goes through the signs. Martinez is ready. The pitch to Joe Dugan. Infield defense, that's the red four. So that's a 4-6-4. Four, four. Dugan swings the stick, sends it to Offerman. That's a 20 it's going to be a bang-bang play at first. The stretch by Stanley. Dugan is safe on a one or a six. It's a six. He beats it out. As Offerman, not the best defender at second. Didn't get to the ball quickly. And a hustling Dugan. That is the third infield hit for the Bronx Bombers in this game. Tying run at first. Go ahead, run at the plate and pack Collins. Collins did have seven home runs. Red Sox stick with Martinez. Double play will bring them to the top of the ninth. The pitch to Pat Collins from Pedro Martinez. Martinez tiring but dealing. That's a two. That's better for the pitcher. Collins at a 275 average. Will he have a chance here? I think not. 2 1 4. We shall find out, though, what happened there. Did we not just go 2 1 4? Maybe I didn't. Two, one, four. That's a 32. Ground ball back to Martinez. He throws to first. As it was a slow dribbler, Pedro thought... Oh, they put in a pinch runner. More heart. That's what they did. That's why that roll... Okay. So a pinch runner came in. He advances to second on the dribbler to the mound. Martinez goes to Stanley. Two outs. More heart. A better base runner. Then Dugan. And now it's Benoff. Will they pinch hit for Benoff? So if I roll this and they go with the pinch hitter, I will re-roll. It's a 3-2-6 to Benoff from Martinez. 3-2-6. 16. It's a triple to center. Benoff comes through with a two-out triple. And the Yankees have tied the game at five. Benoff laced a rising line drive over the head of Darren Lewis. And by the time he corrals it and throws it back in, Benoff with a pop-up slide at third, clapping his hands. Easily scoring from second is the pinch runner, Morehart, And we're knotted at five with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. And the Yankees threatening to take the lead. 90 feet away is Benoff. Top of the order, Earl Combs. What a game. And now we might go to the pen here. Combs is a lefty. Real Cormier. He wasn't horrific. Um, well, we can't put it in order. Every player is available for both teams, obviously, in these games. I think I'm not going to go the knuckleball or Wakefield, that's for sure. Chance of a wild pitch. We're going to go lefty-lefty. I mean, Gordon had 11 saves. Beck, had, Beck was horrible for the Red Sox. 
Uh, Lowe had 15, and Wakefield had 15. But I'm going to go lefty-lefty with Riel Cormier. Here comes Cormier in relief of Martinez. And we get a check mark on the three column, so that possibility of taking away a hit against Combs in the lefty-lefty matchup. Cormier is good for six batters. Moment of truth here. Veritek goes out to have a word with Riel Cormier. Combs is single, doubled in two runs, ground out and struck out. Martinez right now with a no decision, but he could lose it if Benhoff scores, as Martinez is responsible for, for Benhoff, who tripled. That's the first run given up by Pedro since the second inning. 5-5, five, five, two outs, Benhoff at third. Combs steps in the left-handers, batter's box to face the Canadian, Riel Cormier. Is it Cormier or Cormier? Cormier. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's Canadian. Will he give the Yankees the lead? The pitch homeward bound to Earl Combs. And it's going to be a control check for Riel Cormier. 5-6-2, how do you do? That's going to be a ground ball to first. Inning is over. As Stanley tosses to Cormier, covering the bag. He does his J-O-B. Benhoff triples, ties the game, but he is stranded at third. We go to the top of the ninth. 5-5. Five, five. New York with a defensive substitution. Mike Gazella will play third base as Moorhart pinch ran for Dugan. And now Gazella's in the game. What a game. Do up for the Red Sox, Valentin, Garcia, Parra, O'Leary. If anyone gets on, Mike Stanley. We'll see more on the bump. John Valentin, ground out, strike out, single, fly out. One for four. He has a little bit of pop. 12 homers, but you can see in the six column off Will Seymour, a lot of ones, which means he doesn't give up a lot of homers. Unless that's, so a 17's a fly out. A 9, I believe, is a hit. Another 17's a fly out. 22, I don't know what that is. 37, I think, is an out. The 6 roll could be dangerous for the Yankees. If we get the red 6 to start off. Here's the pitch from Moore to Valentin. 5-5 five, five ball game. It's going to be pitcher control with the red 5. 5-2-5. Five, five. Will Valentine and the Red Sox stay alive? 5-2-5. Five, five. 48. Flies out to center, so he reached for a pitch up high, and he loops it to center. Combs makes the catch. Valentin goes back to the Boston bench. One out for Nomar Garcia Parra. It's grounded out, doubled, grounded out, and lined out to center. One for three. Righty righty matchup. Moore looks in at Collins. He rocks and deals to Nomar Garcia Parra, and Nomar gets the power column roll. Six three one. And we'll see more. Does not give up a lot of bippity boppity booms with those ones. 6 3 1 to Garcia Parra. 32. And he pops it up left side. And Mike Gazella, recently inserted, makes the catch. Two outs, base is empty for Troy O'Leary. O'Leary, 28 homers in 1999. Moore deals to Troy O'Leary. It's going to be a ball hit to the infield. Infield defense, 4 1 6. That's it to Lazari. It's a three. Lazari to Gehrig. Top of the ninth is done. We go to the bottom of the ninth. If the Yankees score one, they have a comeback win. Riel Cormier on the mound. The Yankees have Koenig, Ruth, and Gehrig. Koenig's a switch hitter. Then they have two lefties. Do we stick with Riel Cormier? Or do we go with Derek Lowe, the sinker baller? We're going to stick with Cormier because we have two lefties coming up. Here's the pitch to Koenig. Koenig, two singles, a ribby, and two ground outs. He's two for four. Homeward bound goes the pitch to Koenig. The blue die jumps the shark. So it's a 2-1-5, a decent pitch by Riel Cormier. As I probably pronounced his name 15 different ways already. 2 1 5 to Koenig. 39. Ground ball back to the pitcher. 
goes to first, one down. Now here's George Herman Babe Ruth. He is struck out, singled. He almost had a homer, but Martinez had a, a, one of those traits. It took the homer away, and then he grounded out and walked. So he is one for three, been on base twice with the single and the walk. Lefty-lefty matchup. Riel Cormier to Babe Ruth. And uh, he makes a tough pitch against Ruth, 2-3-6, 2 3 six, two, Three six, but Ruth batted three fifty six, so there's still an opportunity on that two. That's a twenty, and Ruth will fly out to right. Got under it, two away. We're one out from free baseball. Everyone loves free baseball. The Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig, sack fly for a ribby, a sacrifice bunt, a walk, and a ground out. He's old for one. The pitch to the Iron Horse from Riel Cormier, and he deals again. Good job of keeping Riel in. Two four five. Are we going to free baseball? 2-4-5 to Lou Gehrig. That's a 63. A line drive towards the gap. And Trot Nixon makes the diving catch. As his... How does that go? One and his number's a four. So he makes the diving catch. Had he been a one defender, which is god-awful for range, it would have been a double. So Trot Nixon makes the diving catch in the, cor in, uh, in the right center. Saving the day, we go to the 10th. We'll see more back up on the bump in the top of the 10th. We have a 5-5 ball game, folks, in the Bronx. It's Stanley, Dawback, and Veritek. Stanley is grounded out, singled in a run, lined out, and doubled. More deals to the Red Sox first baseman, Mike Stanley. Pitcher control, 5-3-4. 5-3-4 to Stanley. 11, and he is plunked by a pitch. They came inside. Stanley didn't move. Trots down to first. Stanley, horrible base runner. He's a one. Do we want a pinch run? And who could come in and play first? That's the question. <laughs> Just looking. Well, we got plenty of guys that could come in to play first. We got Reggie Jefferson can play a little first. I think we're going to pinch run with Buford. Yep. So Buford comes in to pinch run. Damon Buford. After Stanley is hit by the pitch. Dawback is four for four. He is singled, hit a two-run homer, doubled and singled. He needs a triple for the cycle. We're not going to sacrifice with Dawback. Red Yankees hoping for a double play off the bat of Brian Dawback. Law of averages says he's going to get it out, but maybe he goes 5 for 5. We'll see more is ready. The pitch homer bound to Brian Dawback. Infield defense could be a double play here. 1-4-1. One, one. Good job by Moore on the pitch. It's hit to Kone. Gets an 18. And the only play is to first. Buford, with his speed, goes to second. One down. So that goes 6-3. Koenig to Gehrig. Go-ahead run in scoring position with one out for Jason Veritek. Veritek has singled. Flown to center. Had a sack bunt and struck out. Veritek switch hitter batting lefty against the right hand tossing. We'll see more. Collins sets the target to his counterpart, Jason Veritek. Pitch homeward bound by Moore. Three column. Opportunity for Veritek. Three, six, one. Will he take advantage of it? Three, six, one. 63, that's a hit. Line drive, single to center. Buford will score. Six, five, Red Sox. So by putting in the speedy Buford, we stayed out of the double play, and he scores on the line drive to center. Jason Veritek, the captain, comes through in the clutch. 6-5 uh, Red Sox in the top of the 10th. We have an epic in the Bronx. Darren Lewis has singled in a run, grounded out, and struck out twice. The pitch to Lewis. Yankees playing for two. Moore makes a tough pitch. 1-4-3. 1-4-3. What will it be? We shall see in a second. Popped up. Right side. Lazari has it. Two down. Veritek will be off on contact. Trot Nixon tripled in the go-ahead run. In the eighth, prior to that, fly out, 
ground out after the triple, a fly out. One for four. Six five. Red Sox. Trot Nixon awaits the pitch by Will Seymour. And here it is. Infield defense, 4 3 1. 4 3 1 off the bat of Nixon. It's to Gazella. It's an 8. Gazella throws to Gehrig. The side is retired. But once again, the Red Sox take the lead. 6 to 5. We need a first baseman. I believe it was Dawback who drove him in. Let's just double check that. Uh, box score. It's not going to let me go box score. i got to bring in a first baseman. All right, so we're not going to bring in Dawback because we lose our DH. We could move Offerman to first. And then Merloni. To second. 332. Sadler 332. I mean, Dabak is our better first base, but Offerman does not make errors. His range is would be average. You know what? Let's move Offerman to first. And now second base. I'm gonna go with Lou Merloni. Framingham Lou. Lou Merloni goes to second. Oh, I gotta hit sub first. So Offerman to first. Merloni. To second. Where the hell is Merloni? How could I lose Merloni? Oh, there's Lou. Merloni to second. So Lou Merloni from Framingham, Massachusetts comes in at second. Offerman moves from second to first. He's a three range 65 error. Maloney's a three range 32 error, so it's like 50 50 um, on those rolls. That's what we're going to do. Now, Cormier has pitched well. They got a bunch of righties. His day's done. We're going to go to Derek Lowe for the save. Good sinker ball, sinker ball pitcher. Lowe, in 1999, 6-3 with 15 saves, 2.63 ERA. He will face Musil, Lazeri, and Gazella. All righties, including Collins and Benoff. So Derek Lowe looking to get those three outs in the 1999 Red Sox looking for a 6-5 win over the 27 Bronx Bombers. Musil, as lined as short, was hit by a pitch by Pedro, singled, and flew out to right. Lowe has a word with Veritek after the warm-up tosses. Back behind the plate goes Jason. Here's the pitch to Bob Musil from Derek Lowe. And Lowe hangs the sinker. That's a 6-2-4 power column, 6-2-4. This could be a homer. So low hangs one, and Musil has an opportunity here on the one in the two. He's going to get a hit no matter what. Possib it's a one, it's a straight homer. A two, it's a homer chance. And it's a six. So it's only a single. Tying run on base. As Musil singles to center on the hanger by Derek Lowe. Why Musil is going to attempt to steal is beyond me, but he's going to attempt to steal. I don't control them. Well, he's got a good chance, that's why. Lowe does not hold runners on well, and Veritek doesn't have the best arm. That's a 51. He'll steal second. No error, thank God. So a single, Musil turns it into a double with a stolen base. Such thievery by the Yankees. Tying run at second, no outs. Lazeri 
at the plate represents the winning run. He is hitless. Low deals to Tony. Push him up Lazari. Pitcher control, 5-2-6. Pick up some sticks. 5-2-6. And he's going to bunt. So Lazari's going to sack. Wow. And it's going to go to Offerman. It's a 4-2. It's going to be a good bunt with a chance for a hit. Uh, could be another infield single. We roll against Lazari's speed. It's a 4 and he's safe. Another single. Musil goes to third. Lazari to first on the great push bunt base hit. Drag bunt. The Bronx Bombers playing small ball. Tying run 90 feet away. Derek Lowe is choking. Lazari at first, Gazella at the plate. Lazari, La, uh, Gazella, 278. No homers. Lowe does, Lowe does have strikeouts on the one and the two, Colin. And boy, do we need that now. We're going to play for two. We're, we're, we're not going to... We'll give up the run. We'll give up the run. Try to get out of this mess. Here's the pitch to Mike Gazella from Derek Lowe. Pitcher control, 5-1-3. What will it be? We shall see. 5-1-3. Possible walk. We roll on Derek Lowe's control. That's a four. And he loads the bases. Oh, my God. Derek Lowe has been awful. Zalapski Smurf has joined us. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. We've got a thriller in the Bronx. Red Sox took the lead in the top of the 10th, 6-5, the 99 Boston Red Sox versus the 27 Yankees, but Derek Lowe has pooped himself on the mound. No outs. Musil singled, stole second. Lazari dropped a bunt for a hit, and Gazella just walked. Again, we'll play for two. We'll give up the run. And I've, I've seen enough of Mr. Derek Lowe. He has been horrible. So he's a ground... You know what? He's, he, I, he's got, I remember him as a ground ball pitcher. I'm going to say we got a better shot getting a double play with Lowe on the mound. Pat Collins could win it here with a base hit. Lazari's got good speed at second. That's the winning run. Gazella means nothing. Lowe has a word with Veritek. Back behind the mound. Veritek sets the target. The pitch to Pat Collins. Will he win it? Oh, my God. Pitcher control again. 5-4-5. Five, five. Six. Oh, Jesus. He's going to walk in the tying run. Nope. Two balls. Base is loaded. So now it's a full count. Pitch homeward bound it from low to Collins. Oh, my God. We hit the five column again. 5-2-1. He swings. That's a grounder to Maloney. They only get the force at second. Tying run scores. It's 6-6. Six to six. They couldn't turn two. Merloni to his good friend Garcia Parra. And I'll bring up Benny Benoff. Now we can't afford to try for the double play. We got to bring the infield in. Infield comes in with one out. We've seen enough of Derek Lowe. <sighs> Do I want to go with Rod Beck? I mean, I know his ERA was 193. I think he ended up getting hurt in 99, but he was not very good for the Red Sox, in my opinion. Gordon. Well, we're going to go with Rod Beck. Here comes Rod Beck. Five column because his control is horrible. So if we get the five column in the righty-righty matchup, it'll be a one on the first batter, and that's huge. Oh, my Lord. Infield in. Benoff, if he gets it past the drawn in infield, he will win the game. Benoff tied the game with a triple in the eighth. He can win it now in the bottom of the 10th. 
Red Sox got one in the top. Yankees have just tied it with a ground ball to Merloni. Rod Beck. 0-1 with three saves in 99. 1.93 ERA, whip of one. The Fu Manchu in the long hair. He's a fierce competitor. Ben Hoff just kind of giggles at the long-haired freak in his mind. The pitch from Beck to Ben Hoff. Infield defense. Infield in. 4-6-2. 4-6-2. How do you do? Except they're going to go to Durst. So Cedric Durst, the lefty, will come up nullifying Rod Beck. Beck's one. And he batted 248. And we will re-roll. Oh, boy. Cedric Durst could be the hero here. Beck with a violent windup and the pitch homeward bound. Five. Pitcher control. 5-1-3. Ground ball to third. Valentin throws to first for two outs. Lazari holds at second. Collins uh, Lazari holds at third. Collins moves to second. Oh boy, good job by Beck there. As Durst, a little too over anxious, reach for a pitch down and grounds out. Infield, outfield, straightaway and normal. Top of the order, Earl Combs. Combs is a lefty. We're going with Kent Merker. Here comes Kent Merker. And again, lefty-lefty matchup. They're not going to pinch it for Combs. Oh, my God. His control is still horrible. It's a three up there. Holy cow. So here's Kent Merker. Lefty-lefty matchup. Merker in 99. 2-0, oh, no saves. 3.51 ERA. If Combs singles or gets any sort of hit, the ball game's over. Wild pitch, pass, ball, balk. The ball game is over. The Yankees with a tremendous comeback win. But right now, as we stand, 6-6, six, six, two outs. Bottom of the 10th. Red Sox trying to take it to the top of the 11th. Lazari, the winning run at third. That's all you need to know. Collins at second. Doesn't matter. The pitch from the lefty, former Brave, Kent Merker. To the lefty at the plate, Earl Combs. <laughs> this game's over. 6-2-5. 6-2-5. Combs should win it here. 49. It's a single to right. And it's a walk-off win for the Yankees. Earl Combs is mobbed at first base. And the Yankees of 1927 come all the way back and win 7-6 in 10. Red Sox took a 6-5 lead going into the bottom of the 10th, but only could get two outs. The Yankees had tied it already. And Earl Combs, as we just witnessed, singles to right, ball game over. So the 1927 Yankees, in a thriller against the 1999 Red Sox, win it 7-6. Derek Lowe was putrid. He got the loss. We'll see more out of the pen. He was the third pitcher for the Yankees. Got the win. Brian Dobak was a player of the game. He was tremendous. But the Bo Sox still lose. What a game. God, I love playing against the 27 Yankees. All right, let's go to the box. Let's close out the dice tower here. Or the dice rolling pad. Video capture. Beautiful. We don't need that anymore. Oh, wow. 7-6 in 10. The Bronx Bombers of 1927. Pedro got a no decision. He gave up um, five runs. So let's go to the box score here. What a game. Hope everyone enjoyed it. It was fun. D. Scott Howard says, fun game. Thanks, Al. Um, wow. Offerman 0 for 3, 2 walks. Valentin, 1 for 5 with a strikeout. Garcia Parra, 1 for 5 with a run scored. O'Leary, the cleanup hitter, 0 for 5. Stanley, 2 for 4 with a run scored in a ribby. Buford, the pinch runner, scored. Merloni came in to play second, did not bat. Dawback was huge. 4 for 5 
three runs scored, two ribbies. Oh, Veritek knocked in the go-ahead run. I think it was Veritek knocked in the go-ahead run late in the 10th. Um, two for four with a ribby, and he struck out once. Lewis, one for five with a ribby, he struck out twice. Trot Nixon, one for five with a ribby. Martinez pitched not hit. Cormier pitched not hit. Lowe pitched not hit, obviously. Beck pitched not hit, and Merker pitched not hit. That was a tough one. Earl Combs, he had a hell of a game. Three for six, two runs, three ribbies, and a strikeout. Koenig, two for five, and Combs had the walk-off hit for the win. Uh, ribby. Ruth, one for four, as Martinez took a home run away from him. His one hit was a single, a walk, and a strikeout. Gehrig, 0 for 2, a ribby, and a walk. Musil was hit by a pitch. He was 2 for 4 with a run scored. Lazari, 1 for 5 with a run scored and a strikeout. Dugan, 1 for 4 with a strikeout. Moore, Hart, pinch ran and scored. Gazella played third, and then he would walk. Um, Collins was 0 for 4 with a run scored, a ribby, a walk and a strikeout. Benhoff, one for three. A run scored a ribby. A walk and a strikeout. Durst, the pinch hitter, was 0 for 1. Hoyt, Gerard, Moore, pitch did not hit. The Bronx Bombers, the Bronx Bombers had four infield hits. As Samurai Steve says, great game, very fun to watch. Thanks. Thank you, Samurai Steve. Again, if you guys enjoyed it, it always makes a content creator happy. Hit that like button if you want, share. If you haven't subscribed and you want, please do so. Come back for more fun content. Uh, Pitching-wise, Martinez, seven and two-thirds innings, no decision, eight hits, five runs, four of them were earned, four walks, six Ks. Riel Cormier, he pitched tremendous. An inning and a third gave up nothing. Derek Lowe got the loss. He pooped himself in a third of an inning. Two hits, two runs, both earned one walk. Beck got an out, and Kent Merker gave up the single to Combs that won the game for the Yankees. Those runs were the, were the responsibility of Derek Lowe, thus he gets the loss. Wade Hoyt, no decision, six and two-thirds innings, ten hits, five runs. They were all earned, two walks, two Ks, and a home run off the bat of Brian Daubach. Gerard, who I made fun of, pitched a good inning, only gave up a hit. Struck out two, no runs. Will Seymour went two and a third. He got the win out of the pen. One hit, one run. It was earned, but the Yankees came back with two in the bottom of the tenth to give him the win and get him off the hook. Player of the game, Brian Daubach. And once again, in a losing effort, he's player of the game. Uh, I'm going to say player of the game. I like to go with Earl Combs. He had three ribbies, including the winner in the bottom of the tenth. But Dawback, so we have two players of the game, Dawback and Combs. Dawback four for five with two ribbies and three runs scored. Back to the ballpark. And we hit exit. So there you go. It was a thriller in the Bronx as the 1999 Red Sox gave it their all but would fall one run short in 10, 7-6 to six to the 1927 Yankees. I'd like to thank Samurai Steve, Captain Carl 8, as he says, time to get back to work, D. Scott Howard, Zalapsky Smurf, Sports Time Machine, Jason Cull, Jake Cruz, Philip Reynolds. Thank you very much. Hope everyone enjoyed the game. It was a lot of fun. Remember, if you liked it, smack that like button, share, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also check out the other wonderful content creators in our community. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Well, the Yankees of 1927 defeat the 99 Red Sox 7-6. to God bless. Peace.